All right, researchers uh, at McMaster University in Hamilton and MIT making a big breakthrough when it comes to the treatment of Crohn's disease, but also other similar type conditions. Could be a promising new option for millions of people around the world who are affected by these diseases. CTV Scott Hurst is tracking this big medical story mm -hmm. today, which of course is welcome news for people who go through these things, which are very difficult, Scott. Yeah, this can be very uncomfortable. So some promising medical news. Canadian and American researchers really making two scientific breakthroughs at once. First, discovering a brand new antibiotic that targets IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, and they've also been able to use AI to predict exactly how the drug works. Now, IBD, the most common being Crohn's and colitis, and it's important to point out that Canada has one of the highest rates of Crohn's and colitis in the world, so the stakes, as you can imagine, are quite high. The first breakthrough, the brand new antibiotic, now most antibiotics used in clinics are broad spectrum drugs, meaning they wipe out good bacteria in addition to those that cause disease. The new antibiotic discovered at McMaster is a narrow spectrum drug, meaning it attacks only a specific group of disease causing bugs. And according to researchers, the new drug is really a promising treatment candidate. Now let's focus on the AI application uh, as the part of this. Researchers say the development of the new drug was ultimately fast-tracked thanks to the collaboration between humans and generative AI. Drug developers typically spend years and millions of dollars to figure out how a drug kills bacteria. That's called the Mechanism of Action, or MOA. Now, as the principal investigator pointed out in this case, instead of years, it ultimately took a matter of minutes thanks to using AI. So this group completed a thorough MOA study in about six months, Todd, for about $60,000, so that can really be a game changer when it comes to using AI in ongoing medical research. All right, Scott Hurst with the very latest on that. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Todd.